Everybody agrees that in principle, clinical data could be, should be quite important. For example, in the world of cancer research, you'd like to know um, the significance of, of what we call the genetic profile of a cancer um, with respect to how that cancer is likely to respond to conventional treatments, uh, to uh, how, what the outcome is. Um, and then you're presented with clinical data in the form of a major chart with a lot of scribbling in it and doctors' comments that are usually very qualitative. Patient doing well today, you know, or patient feels pain in his, in his back. Um, how do you turn that kind of very soft data into something that computers can analyze? And that's a huge challenge. You just simplify it and, and to say the patient's alive today, and that's, that's a piece of quantitative data, you know, zero versus one, live or dead. Um, you can turn that into a, into a computer program. But um, uh, so I think in, in, there's some inflation of the idea of how, how quantitative the data really are. There is a lot of data. 